hey guys welcome back to my channel i am going to be doing the silk press on 100 percent natural hair right now i am using the joyco treatment leave-in conditioner so her hair can add a lot of moisture and we can add a lot of body back to her hair so let me give you um some background on her hair she's been natural for about seven years and she stated that she's struggling with length retention and I explained to her that the reason why she's struggling with length retention is because she hasn't had a trim since she's been natural. So right now you're going to see me using the Kenra blow dry spray. Listen, this blow dry spray will cut your blow dry in half under in under 10 minutes. So if you notice, there's moments where I'm using the paddle brush when blow drying and then there's other moments where I'm using the attach comb. Listen, it's up to you. You can use both tools and still end up with the same results it's all about taking your time using smaller sections and you know applying a light serum or leave-in conditioner but when it comes to low porosity fine hair i always suggest just using a leave-in conditioner compared to someone with the more thicker texture then you can use a leave-in conditioner cream or spray but being that her hair is low porosity, but it's more on the dense side, I decided to use just the liquid leave-in conditioner and the liquid blow dry spray. Everything I use is a heat protectant. So she's been shampooed and conditioned with the Redken All Soft Hairline. So that's the gold bottle. And I also deep conditioned her with my favorite deep conditioner, which is the Brio Geo deep conditioning mask so she's been struggling with length retention and i've asked her why has she waiting so long to get a trim and just like everybody else she feels like she doesn't trust anyone to touch her hair she hasn't been to a stylist since she been natural eight years ago and you can tell because when you comb the hair out you can see a lot of her thinning ends now listen, yes, I should have going up some more, but I had to do what com was comfortable for the client. So she wasn't ready to cut majority of the dead ends off. So she asked me if we can do it gradually. When you keep up with your routine trims, you can get your hair trimmed about every three to four months. But if you are someone who's hanging on to the dead ends, I would suggest you to get those dead ends off quickly and sooner than possible so i suggested that she comes at least every six weeks so we can take those dead ends off gradually but for the most part you know try not to skip your trims because if you haven't had a trim it's definitely going to turn into haircut so this what i'm doing is a trim but if she would have given me the opportunity to take majority of her dead ends off it would definitely be definitely be a bob cut Anything you see that's thinning on the ends or anything that's see-through, that all needs to come off. So guys, I just want to let y'all know, I know you guys might be afraid or traumatized about getting trims based on what you experienced in the past, but you are on, only hindering your hair growth, you know? Yes, our hair grows from the root, from the scalp, but we get our length from our ends. So it's imperative that we keep our ends Number one, clean, even, split-free, moisturized. Let's talk about moisture for a second because, you know, a lot of people always say, oh, my hair is so dry. The best way to apply moisture is at the shampoo bowl. And what I mean by that is you need to deep condition, deep condition, sit under steamer, apply leave-in conditioner. That's the perfect time to apply your moisture, Okay just to let you guys know that. So this customer, instead of going straight into flat ironing her hair straight and then curling it, I didn't wanna do that because I didn't wanna kill the body in her hair. If I would've flat ironed her hair first, being that she has fine hair, it would've been a lot flatter. So the flat iron that I'm using today is the FHI Heat One Inch Ceramic Flat Iron. Oh my God, like this is my first time using their flat iron line i've never used anything fhi heat until now so they sent me these flat irons 
And I must say, like, I've been using them ever since. Yes, I rotate between the EAP Heat flat iron, the Babyliss flat iron. But honestly, I'm noticing that this these are my favorite flat irons. So I just ordered the one and three fourth. That is the largest flat iron. You know what? Why I love this flat iron is because it doesn't take a lot of passes to get it sleek straight. You know what I mean? And you don't have to do really small sections. It, it just glides. It doesn't snag. It gives some type of shine. Like, I don't know. I feel like when I look at these um, red plates, it kind of reminds me of like red bottoms. So I call it the red bottoms of flat irons. But they're, they really are the goat. I really love them. I noticed that they're good for straightening the hair and it's also good for curling. Cause sometimes you have curling irons that, that are good for just curling the hair and you have flat irons that are really good for flat ironing. So my favorite flat irons, when it comes to flat ironing straight hair, I would say these here, the FHI Heat. Um, I would say the Babyliss Pro Titanium in ceramic and I will also say believe it or not the Kanye Pro from like your local drugstore those flat irons the ceramic ones or the termaline ones get really sleeky straight and for an affordable price now when it comes to curling one of my some of my favorite flat irons are just for curling like you know curls what I'm doing now these here these FHI heat, I can curl, they give really nice curls. These, the um, the Bio Ionic 10X, oh my god. Yes, they're $250, but they're so worth it. It has ionic um, steaming, steaming uh, ions inside of their flat iron. But one pass, they have like the round tip. I don't know if you guys know, but when you curl, I feel like the rounder the tip, the better the curl. I like when the the end of the flat iron is round. So the Bio Ionic 10X, that flat iron is really good. The, I want to say the Babyliss flat iron, but more of, more of the curling iron to me. I like the curling iron um, when it comes to curls. I try flat ironing with the Babyliss Pro, but it, it, I don't know, sometimes it leaves like a little dent because the, the plates are so uh, rectangular doesn't have like that round end that I'm looking for but for the most part these flat irons are really well the EAP heat flat irons I do love those for curling the ceramic ones I love for curling too but um, the Termaline EAP flat irons I like for just straining